<laughs> when a child dies and it is not baptized, that child's um, soul of that child remains on earth. And that's because the child is born of sin, but the child itself is not sinful. So it neither ascends to heaven, nor can it descend to hell. And what happens is that that soul or that spirit will roam the earth. And some of these spirits will be drawn to the forest. And when they go to the forest, what happens is that they were transformed into a creature they call a dwen. So the dwens, uh, the characteristic of a dwen is that they are faceless toddlers, children, that has no face. There's no eyes, nose, or mouth. Yet they will have a hat to conceal the area of the face. And that is because, you know, some people will ask, why would you have a hat to conceal a face? If you don't have a face well it's because quite simply if you saw a child or any being for that matter that is looking at you in your direction but it does not have a face you are, you are probably not going to stay in that area for very long you'll probably run the hearts are there to obscure the face and, and so in so doing we assume that what you're seeing does have a face that a child is there and well it looks normal but another uh, characteristic of the Dwen is that their feet are backwards. Now, the reason for that, from what I understand, is that when a Dwen moves, tracks tend to mislead people. They are children, basically. And they will beckon other children, entice them to come and play. And that is where, when the children goes, the child that follows the Dwen would usually get lost in the forest. And on most occasions, if the child is not found, the child dies. If that child is also not baptized, is also going to become a Dwen. I had a cousin, her name is Lavon, and she related a story to me about what happened to her as a child she was playing with her cousins and then when they were heading back home she saw Gwen's in the forest but she didn't know what it was and they were calling her to come and she was approaching them and at the very last minute someone came and grabbed her hand and pulled her out of the forest before she went too far into it and when they looked in, they realized what they saw was not a human child. And they ran home. That is a bit of Trinidadian folklore. I would like to do reenactments of the Guyanese indigenous Guyana folklore. So if you like this video. Indigenous Guyana is designed to bridge the gap between modern society and indigenous culture. Join us on our journey into the life of the indigenous peoples of Guyana.